hello all uh, chess lovers hope uh, all of you are great in this video we are going to learn about an important concept that is uh, how to attack your uh, opponent kings when the king side is uh, weak okay before going into the video if you didn't subscribe my channel please do subscribe your each subscription will be in great motivation for me to do many videos like this so this is a position uh, in which it's uh, white to play I suggest everybody to pause the video and find the answer what is the best move for white and um, before uh, you started thinking I will give some clues for this position in this position uh, black's king side is considerably weak he has uh, moved his uh, pawn uh, to further squares and uh, his uh, knight is not on the protective square f6 and he has uh, only one minor piece which is uh, protecting the king and uh, we have many pieces which are pointed towards the king side they are uh, ready to attack and um, hope uh, all have uh, caught the clues and the found the answer so now i will reveal the answer the answer is bishop into g5 now uh, i wanted to state something to you that is um, while you are uh, starting to attack uh, don't uh, hesitate to sacrifice pieces uh, if you have seen the mate uh, or uh, material advantage uh, clearly now uh, black should uh, recapture because uh, if he didn't uh, recapture uh, the pawn then um, white will be a pawn up that will be a uh, great advantage for white so Hudson to g5 n into g5 now we are uh, pointing this uh, hut 7 square we are um, threatening mate in one there are uh, many moves which stops the mate but uh, one of them works uh, bishop f5 doesn't help and uh, knight f6 doesn't help so there is only one move which uh, there are two moves which uh, helps uh, black from uh, not getting better so hope all have found the two moves the first move is f5 which is um, considerably easier for us so <coughs> this is a crucial moment i now also suggest you to post the video and find the answer uh, if you have thought that uh, taking on uh, e into f6 then you are uh, completely wrong so after this this uh, this um, square is uh, protected by this f6 knight so you're wrong and uh, what is the answer you have to you have now to clear uh, the f line and uh, make a given opportunity to the opponent's knight to prevent the h7 square you can play queen h4 and another time attacking the h7 square so this time black has uh, I think uh, only one way to defend uh, that is to move his rook so he moved the rook now queen h7 check king f8 now these moves are quite natural and uh, now this is an another crucial moment now also I suggest you to post the video and find the answer and uh, another thing I want to say with you is uh, why I am showing all uh, the variations the moves like uh, bishop f5 uh, n f6 in these positions because um, the reason is this moves can be omitted this or not um, um, quite um, good moves they are uh, absolutely bad moves so the reason why i am showing uh, these moves also is to uh, the habit of uh, to improve the habit of uh, considering all moves into the consideration so that's the reason behind that uh, which i showed uh, the most like that so okay now also uh, we have seen uh, many things in this position this position contains all things which we need in a single position so after king f8 uh, we don't have any forcing moves no checks uh, and uh, if you try to play moves like this then um, you are going to not going to get anything because the f7 square is now being protected by the queen so 
there is no further attack for uh, white so what's the right move after king f8 so the right move is f7 you may sorry e6 uh, you may think uh, why e6 is the right move because we have already seen after queen h4 uh, then um, e6 uh, supports the f7 square now there is um, no chance for that uh, even if uh, bishop takes e6 is not possible knight takes uh, e6 is an fork so uh, enf6 is an only move after queen g6 you will be really knowing uh, the importance of the move e6 if we have played uh, queen g6 or queen h4 directly we could not uh, have achieved this position so before making making every move keeping checks and uh, playing uh, moves like uh, keeping checks capturing unnecessary pawns pieces will not help you every move should have a strong reason so after uh, king g8 n e5 is played we are uh, and another rule in addition when you are attacking your opponent's king you should involve all of your pieces in attack then only you should um, you can mate let us uh, consider the same position uh, two pieces are defending the king this bishop and uh, knight we are attacking with three pieces uh, two pieces when uh, um, defending we are attacking with these two pieces we can't do any progress as you see now uh, after knight e5 we have uh, many new threats so another rule in addition is um, involve almost all of your pieces in attack when you are attacking your um, opponent's king so now there are um, more shortage for uh, black black can't do anything after rook f8 um, this is a uh, mate in uh, three i suggest everybody to pause the video and I have, as I have already said, um, you should not hesitate to sacrifice uh, any of your pieces as you have seen uh, and uh, checkmate or uh, piece advantage for you. So, hope all of found the answer. The answer is quite easy after queen f7 check, rook into f7, <coughs> e into f7, king h8, and g6 finishes. Or even uh, king f8, this also doesn't help uh, white. This is also unmade. So, we have seen uh, the f5 variation. Now we will see what happens if uh, rook plays d8. We have to calculate uh, all the variations possible as I have already said. So, after rook uh, d8, we have uh, many sub variations. First, uh, we will see what uh, happens if uh, queen h7 check. Queen h7, king f8, e6. Now, also, this is a crucial move. We does not have any checks or uh, forcing replace like captures now in this position also if uh, if you are uh, unexperienced if you want to make threats um, what uh, unwanted threats unused useless threats so if you play moves like this then uh, you will not get uh, anything because of this move sorry with the pawn uh, e6 so this defends the f7 square and uh, everything is um, under control but uh, you should play moves like this e6 so after e6 uh, now if uh, f into e6 or uh, bishop into e6 first let us see f into e6 then queen h5 i don't see any real um, move which uh, helps uh, black from getting mated so what if uh, bishop into e6 then rook into e6 f into e6 knight into e6 this forks all the king rook and the, the queen this is a family fork so after uh, e6 we have played now uh, what happens if uh, queen h5 uh, that also we have seen and uh, I'm searching for a variation in which uh, after uh, f into e6 
instead of f into e6 f queen f4 offering and queen exchange this is also a move to be considered now uh, if uh, you take the queen then um, the attack is um, almost completed you can't do anything uh, with the rest of your pieces black may fight back but uh, after this uh, you may play e into f7 king f8 queen g6 and uh, now also knight h7 is a uh, real threat we can do nothing other than taking queen into knight which is also losing so hope all of you enjoy this position i have said uh, many things faster uh, in this video but uh, if you have uh, listened everything carefully you will be learn you have you should have learned many things from this video so thank you for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video share it to your friends if you find it useful meet you in next video till then bye